Good evening. Our passage for today is 1 Corinthians 3, 17. The temple of God is holy. Which temple you are? It has always been that God has desired to have a relationship with mankind. He created Adam and Eve and put them into the garden and had a relationship with them. Mankind was to show God's glory, his showcase, if you will, the only part of creation created in his image, the image bearers of God himself. Sin came into the world, and it seems as if that plan failed. But God, seeing fit to redeem mankind, working first in his own children, the children of Israel, his people, revealed himself and would come to abide in first the tabernacle that the children of Israel had, and then eventually he would be in the temple itself. And so we know the stories of the children of Israel as they would travel uh, before they got to the promised land, and the fire by night, and cloud by day, and they had the tabernacle, and uh, the Lord would um, appear in the tabernacle. That's where he would dwell, and we have all the rituals eventually when they get to the temple, and how the high priest is uh, supposed to approach the Holy of Holies, and that is where God would abide. But in the New Testament, with the arrival of the Messiah, with Christ coming, the temple was going to change from being in a physical place to being in the hearts of each individual person that puts their faith and trust in Christ. The Holy Spirit now is going to abide within us. That's why he says, Paul says, you are that temple. He's not asking a question here. He's making a statement. The temple that I'm speaking of, that's you. And so now, the temple is not a building. Uh, it's not a place made out of um, bricks or stone or wood. The temple is inside each individual, the spiritual person of those who have accepted Christ. And so that seems to be a concept that many struggle with, that really... Uh, the world for the first time is going to be told of a God who will come and live inside of them. And we talked about before the mystery of the gospel is that Christ dwells in us. But because he dwells in us and where he is, the temple of God is holy. Then if we're that temple, then our lives should be lived as one searching after holiness and purity, both in purity of mind and thought, but also in our actions, because it is Christ who is dwelling in us. The Holy Spirit abides within our heart, and where God is is holiness, and we are that temple. And so I hope that that's something that we will consider and to think about the wonder of God's grace that he would allow himself to be placed into the very hearts of the people that he created and then those whom he has redeemed. This is the great mystery of the gospel that we now have become the temple of God and he would come to not a place that is made out of hands, but a place that he has made in creation within our heart. You are that temple, and the temple is supposed to be holy. And may it be so. Have a good evening.